Hi guys, I am uh, Tony Mitra and uh, I have a little information to pass to you all and also requesting a little bit of uh, an advice. The thing is, I am the one who analyzed uh, near 8000 records of foods tested by CFIA for presence of glyphosate and uh, I am the one who was so shocked that I wrote the book uh, Poison Foods of North America uh, ebook on Amazon and I'm the one who is trying to bring this subject to the mainstream political discourse in Canada. Why? Because I found that North America makes the most toxic food on the planet and within North America Canada makes uh, the most toxic food more so than uh, the United States and within Canada, the western part of Canada from the prairies outward uh, has more toxic foods than elsewhere in Canada which makes western Canada the epicenter of poisonous foods on earth. And this is an unacceptable situation. It's not a personal matter. It's a public interest matter and I'm trying my best. I'm determined to bring this into the main political discourse because uh, because uh, it needs to go mainstream. The mainstream media might uh, not want to touch it. Uh, nobody seems to want to touch it, but it's my business and a duty as a citizen to make this uh, a topic that the politicians must answer. So anyway, to cut a long story, I attended uh, the all candidates meeting today at North Delta. Uh, British Columbia is having a provincial election to elect a new government. The local government is, the current local government is uh, led by the Liberal Party. Uh, those of you who are not from Canada, but let's say from the US, the Liberal Party may be vaguely similar to uh, the Democratic Party of the US. And uh, the main opposition in British Columbia is the National Democratic Party or NDP, uh, which is a party to the left of the Liberals. I I don't think USA has quite a, a parallel or equivalent party there. Uh, then there are the Green parties, almost on the fringe, similar to what's the situation in in the US. And then there are the Conservatives, the Progressive Conservatives of the of Canada, who are vaguely similar to the Republican Party in the US, and they are not much in the picture. Uh, they are so unpopular in the British Colum Columbian scene that. Uh, they often do not field a candidate. So in my riding, uh, the conservatives uh, are not there. No, no, nobody is contesting on that ticket. Uh, we have only three candidates in my riding. Uh, one is from the, in, uh, the incumbent Liberal uh, Party MLA. His name is Scott Hamilton. And then there are two challengers. One is Mr. Ravi Kalon, who is who belongs to the NDP, National Democratic Party. And then there is uh, Jackie Miller, who is uh, the Green Party candidate. So I attended their meeting. I had not succeeded uh, in passing my question to the moderator uh, so that this question is asked to all the three candidates. And that is based on my finding of the CFIA test records uh, that Canada makes the most toxic foods on the planet with regard to glyphosate contamination. What, if anything, is a candidate prepared to do if he or she wins the election? This was a question which I did not get to field because the moderators one way or another uh, didn't accept it. But I don't give up. So I attended the meeting. Uh, and apart from listening to them and uh, and uh, audio recording the the, converse, the entire debate, which I found not that interesting to start with, uh, to tell you the truth. However, I managed to pull aside two of the candidates before the one before the debate and one after, and spoke with them one on one on one on this issue of pesticides in Canadian food and Canadian feed, food being the most toxic on earth. And my question was what they were, what were they willing to do about it or did they know about it and so on. I found out that neither, uh, these two candidates were uh, Jackie Miller, 
of the Green Party who had actually responded to my email bef even before the uh, the debate and sh and she had responded to the same question passed to all the candidates the others did not respond so both she and uh, and Ravi Kalon who is uh, from the NDP both of them spoke with me uh, one on one or I was able to talk to them uh, both of them seem to be unaware of the name glyphosate uh, as a chemical main ingredient in uh, Roundup herbicide but both of them knew about Roundup and both of them knew about uh, Monsanto and uh, in general they were not very happy with uh, Monsanto's uh, influence in our environment uh, but they did not know about toxicity in Canadian food in fact they didn't uh, um, the impression I get from the green candidate is that they don't. She didn't know whether I should. They, uh, my finding should be taken uh, as a gospel, unless she can see the evidence and so on. Anyway, she agreed to see me one on one uh, over a, maybe a cup of coffee uh, sometime in uh, near future uh, before the elections to catch up on this and at least hear my uh, story about it and uh, and maybe. Uh, some samples of the data given to her by email uh, and uh, and she will see whether this issue can be brought to mainstream political discourse uh, that was Jackie Miller and I'm looking forward to spending time with her over a coffee somewhere then there is uh, Ravi Kahlon the NDP candidate who I managed to uh, talk to after the debate and he was also, first of all, he apologized for not uh, writing back to me soon enough. He was overwhelmed with too much uh, things to do, but he was going to write to me. And once he heard what I had to say, he immediately called his assistant and set up an appointment to come to my house here, probably sitting in this table, uh, day after tomorrow, Monday morning, uh, for a half hour to catch up with what I have to say. And he also requested that give, uh, to, to give him all the problems that I found and also what the possible solution is. And this is where I need some advice. I have evidence, I, I have, I've seen the evidence that our food is really toxic. I do not know if I have a quick fix solution. I do not think there is any quick fix solution. I, I do not think one can simply say just go organic. Uh, this is okay for a small percentage of people who can afford to uh, pay organic but I know everybody cannot go organic organic doesn't cover uh, demand for 100% of the population one cannot throw away 99% of the food which is not organic uh, this uh, clearly the the perfect solution is that all foods become organic all nasty stuff goes out of our um, food system but that's a end result how to reach there what is the solution to go there that's a million dollar question i do not have an easy answer i know that that the that the the fix is going to be painful there'll be enormous resistance to it and it's not just asking the corporations to go away and uh, they don't have to make profit out of poisoning people but but the entire agriculture plan has to be turned on its head something that has been entrenched for a couple of generations in 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 canada and and, and usa it, it's it, it probably involves redistribution of uh, of uh, population along the uh, industrial uh, along the agriculture belt repopulating uh, those heartlands uh, agriculture heartlands with uh, with people so that small farms can survive uh, ergonomically and and sustainable a whole lot of things so I do not know if I can say a quick fix but from a politician's point of view I can understand his concern that that if there is a problem but no solution then whether he should talk about it because what's the point talking about a problem if you cannot offer a solution so what comes to my mind off the cuff as a first step towards an eventual solution is to acknowledge first of all that we have a very serious problem to acknowledge it to talk about it to show concern that we are getting poisoned and it is going to have a long-term effect if it is already having a lot with regard to rampant rise in in ill health and and, and, and medical issues and that this needs to be 
faced square in order to find a national level solution and uh, that may be the first step and the politicians can make sure that these issues become mainstream one way or another whether their party bosses will agree to it i do not know whether the mainstream will still cover it or not cover it i do not know uh, but i intend to try my best to impress upon these candidates that this is the situation that many of their party leaders at the federal level are more aware of the problem although they may not know the actual analysis report that, that how, how bad our food has become because that's very new i published my book only a few weeks ago and and it's not been heavily publicized it's not being actually publicized by anybody mainstream media will not touch it uh, cfia doesn't want to talk about it uh, mainstream uh, all the resistance group uh, i don't know if anyone is uh, all that super popular but people like say world health organization or dr marcola and all that they have not mentioned it so therefore it has not gone mainstream and nobody wants i have written to all not all most of the mainstream newspapers about it and nobody responded even the small small town uh, newspapers do not want to respond so clearly nobody wants to touch this subject because it upsets i don't know the establishment or what, or what have you nonetheless here are these two politicians who are willing to talk to me and uh, and learn my version of how bad our food is and one of them has asked to also present some sort of a solution so that he can bring it up to the mainstream and say here is the problem and here is some sort of a solution so this is where i ask you people if you have a good solution that holds water that can be given to an aspiring politician to a political party who is wanting to dethrone uh, the do nothing government of the liberals uh, that's what i call them that's my uh, definition uh, and uh, and also the conservatives no different uh, and if there is to be a solution what is it that i that i should be telling these candidates one of them is coming to my home monday morning day after tomorrow this is saturday afternoon uh, he's coming to my home monday morning to spend a half an hour here and maybe more to learn about all these issues of glyphosate in canadian food so if you can offer a solution please do i'm looking for a solution thank you